Why do we raise our hands in worship? You know everything about your body, your physical being is communicating to something whether you like it or not. When you feel a bit sad, we, we inflect ourselves. When we get a bit excited, we're out there like this. Our communication is happening all the time, whether we like it or not. And how we use our bodies reflects what we value. You know, it's not just people who follow Jesus that through worship or through movement in the physical form, use their body to, to, to show a form of worship, right? Raising hands is for people maybe who follow Jesus, but people who follow other religions, worship other things, use their bodies also, you know, believe me. What about yoga and meditation? They do different poses and, and things to help reflect what they believe or a call to prayer for, for Islam. But what about if work is what you worship? Maybe you're not feel like you're a religious person, but that office, that work bench, that work life, that sitting in that chair for a prolonged period hey you're kind of using your body to do something that you worship or the gym for those who love physical work the, the list goes on everything we do with our bodies is showing honor to something it's showing value to something so why do we raise our hands in worship to jesus well, as a follower of Jesus, there's a biblical precedent. Psalm 63 verse four says, I will praise you as long as I live, lifting up my hands to you in prayer. Psalm 143 verse six says, I will lift my hands to you in prayer and I thirst for you as parched land thirst for rain. Oh, isn't that a beautiful kind of scripture there? As parched land thirst for rain. So it, it represents this natural desire in our heart. That's what it does. When we raise our hands in worship, we lift them up, it's a symbol of authenticity. It's a, it's a reflex, a desire on the inside of us to want to connect with something bigger. Hey, maybe you're a Western fan and you've seen some of those old John Wayne movies, but when they run into the bank and everyone says, stick them up and everyone throws their hands up, what are they doing? They're surrendering, right? God isn't angry at us and telling us to surrender. No, quite the opposite. We're actually in this moment surrendering our lives to Him. It's a physical representation of kind of what is already going on on the inside. It's about openness. It's about catching something. If you were here right with me right now and I was going to throw something to you, you wouldn't cross your arms because that thing would hit you and fall off, would it not? So when we worship, when we raise our hands, what it is, it's opening our hearts up, opening our spirits up, opening up all that we are to say, God, I want to catch what you have for me today. And you know what I notice? I notice emotionally when we want to connect with God different ways, we might show that different way. Some people put their hands out just like this if they're contemplating in prayer. Some people are desiring a miracle, a sick child, a situation, a change, and they are desperate like this. Irrelevant of how you go about it, raising your hands and opening your body up is profound when you engage and worship God. Be that in a physical service, be that in your room at home, wherever you are, it is amazing. So my encouragement to you, give it a try. Next time you put some music on, next time you want to pray to God, open your body up, use your hands to represent the heart that wants to connect with Him because He deeply desires to connect with you.